literally make a sand castle out of that. That is so much sand. Oh, my pool is so dirty. There's leaves everywhere. There's green dust on the sediments, on the base of the pool. Where's my pool boy? You called. Oh, not you. I'm talking about this, the Barracuda. Capture a plus. That's what I'm talking about. Um, pool boy, pool boy, come back here again. I need you to open this for me. Hey guys, welcome to the show. This is the Barracuda Capture Plus, otherwise known as the Zodiac X35. It's around five or six years old. It's a pretty old system, but it's the best system you can get from your local shop called Bunnings. So check it out. Never tried one of these robots before, so I have no idea how they will do. What we want to see is if they will get rid of that green, disgusting dust on the bottom of the pool. If they'll get rid of, what we like, the leaves, the, leaves. the collection. One of the biggest problems, our old pool cleaner, the suction one, is it took away the functionality of the skimmer. So that means if there's any leaves on the top, it wouldn't get skimmed away. And secondly, I mean, you'd have to constantly take it out and off. Secondly, you'd always have to run it with the pool. You'd have to go through the filter. So you use a lot more cycles being taken up there. This one is independent. So. Yes, I like it. Because previously I have been vacuuming the pool and that takes a lot of effort and it also wastes a lot of water as well. What happened is that the pole became detached from the vacuum and um, because suction is so strong, it took a bit of a two-man job to get it back on track again, but we're there. So that is kind of annoying, I guess. So, you know what? I'm going to give up. So this is what you get inside of the pack. Now, it is a lot of stuff, but what do we do with that? So the instructions that it comes with tells you that you need to assemble it first, kind of like a, a caddy sort of system. So there is differences in the bed. Like put the cable like there that and then you plug it into there. Whoa, oh, I'm so excited. Up. We are almost ready to rock. Oh, I'm gonna need some help on this one. All right, so the cable for the caddy is a bit short for my liking. So I've got a little extension to help it out. So there it is, it's turned on. So now, get rid of the plastic. Submerge it in the water. It's going in. Good luck, little fella. Right, so on the top here, you get a few settings of different modes. For us, it says level one is for pebble. We got pebble. Next one up is concrete and it goes all the way up to smooth surfaces. And then you choose if you want floors or walls or floors and walls. So by default, it's pebble and everything. It says, take a look here, see how it's climbing your walls. And if it doesn't climb your walls well, increase the setting. I'm just gonna hit the start button and it's gonna go ahead and do its program. Three, two, one. Oh, uh, there you go. Oh, he's doing something. Hey! Go. So, it's actually doing an all right job. I can actually see where it's been. I can see there's lines of clean, there's lines of dirty. So surprisingly, it seems to be doing a good job. And what I like about it is it's very quiet compared to like a vacuum and it's like wasting all the water. This thing is super silent, I can't even hear it. What I did notice is on level one, it could get up the walls halfway, but it was struggling. Put on level two, it could get up most of the wall. However, on the deep end, it's really struggling. It's now on level three. So we'll let it run. Let it run the hole, give you a time lapse and show you the end result. Right, that's it. First pool cleaning has now completed. It took about two hours. I'd say it is probably 70, 60 to 70 percent fully done. Just look at all that nasty that was in the pool. All of this disgusting mess. All the mess here have been cleared up. There is on the surface a few items probably should have the skimmer running at the same time as the robot to clear out 
a bit of the cloudiness that's a bit remanated over. You can see that it did do a bit on the first step. It didn't get up to the second step over here. So I've just finished running the robot vacuum cleaner for the second time this week. Yes, four days later. Now, I'll be honest with you, the first time we used the robot vacuum cleaner, there was so much gunk and after that, the pool looked really clean. So I'm actually intrigued to see whether or not it actually has managed to pick anything up because in my eyes, the pool was looking pretty clean. So let's scoop it out with the scooper and see how it fares. Push and go. Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness me, there is sand. There is sand. Look at that gunk. Uh, I could literally make a sand castle out of that. That is so much sand. Where did they even come from? So much. Oh. You know, I actually went for a swim a couple of days ago and I'm actually like disgusted to think I was swimming with all of this muck. So I'm gonna go and wash this out and thank you so much for working out. Know, I'm gonna use you again probably in a couple more days to see what other nasties there are. I did, I did actually really like it. I like how much came out of it. I am curious how much better the more expensive models are because there are they do have extra features like a remote control unit. They also have the ability to automatically float to the surface to pick it up. This one I had to use a handle to pick it up from. But uh, is it just more about regularly cleaning my pool from now on rather than expecting it to do a 100% complete job on the first go? I reckon for the price, you know, more than half cheaper, more than half cheaper than the most expensive models. It's a pretty good deal. Although I am curious about how much bang for buck you'd get on the super expensive models. But overall you can see it was a dirty, filthy, filthy, Filthy. I mean, the amount of gunk in the pool—it was nasty. It was a nasty pool. I can't believe, can't believe we got it to that state. So I'm, I'm happy that it did clean up most of it, and I'm happy that it's so quiet and it doesn't require the pool pump to run, and uh, it's getting the job done. So I'm excited to see how it handles the future, and uh, it seems to be a good value, good value kit. Bit, bit tricky, bit bulky, bit heavy, but it's doing an all right job to start off with. Let's know. What kind of uh, kits you guys are using to clean up your pools? Manual labor, labor, manual labor. I love doing that stuff, but it's kind of like set and forget. It's kind of fun. So let's know what kind of pool robots you guys are using at home. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. <laughs>